Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Concepts of Telecom Take It Easy. So today we are going to discuss LT protocol structure. What are the main layers of LT protocol structure? What are their main functions? So let's see. So today uh, we can divide this protocol uh, structure in two parts. That is control plane and user plane. So we will see control plane first. Control plane. So let's see if we start with UE. Here it is UE. We will just uh, draw the main main entities of a network. Then it is E node B. Sorry, this one. Bit later. Here. This is E node B. Then comes MME. Here it is. S gateway here it is P gateway so let's draw from here uh, physical it is the lower most level L1 layer it is MAC layer then it is RLC layer the medium access uh, control layer then this is radio link control layer then it is PDCP packet data convergence protocol layer then it is RRC layer radio resource control layer and this is NAS layer non access stratum right and between EUE and E node B physical layer is connected with physical layer MAC layer is connected with MAC layer RLC is connected with RLC layer radio link control this is connected with PDCP layer same here and it is connected with RRC. RRC is connected with RRC layer, right? And this is E node B towards. If we see towards MME, it's N S one MME or S one AP interface, uh, which we say, and this is UU interface. So between E node B and MME, right? It is L one. We describe it as here L L two. And since it is a Ethernet connection, IP connection between E node B and MME, so it is IP. And above it, it is SCTP, okay? uh, Stream Control Transmission Protocol. It is SCTP that is used for uh, control plane. Right? It is IP, SCTP, L2, L1. So MME and E node B okay communicates through sctp protocol right and this is s1 ap s1 ap is the top topmost s1 application protocol you can say right so this is the protocol structure between e node b and mme <coughs> right that, that's why we also call it s1 ap interface or s1 mme interface because communication of control plane now one more uh, thing is there you might have heard about it nas right nas layer nas layer is layer between directly between ue directly between ue and mme right nas layer there is no uh, role of e node b in, in nas transmission because that's why it is called non access stratum right because there is no uh, access okay in this uh, uh, of, of e node b in this uh, communication that's why it's a non access stratum so it's a directly between ue and mme okay now see from mme to s gateway it is called s11 s11 interface so it is l1 l2 same here ip but here it is udp right user datagram protocol and it is gtp c it is gprs tunneling protocol here control since we are talking about control plane protocol structure so that's why it is gtp c right it is l1 l2 it is ip this is also a ip communication Ethernet communication between MME and S gateway and user datagram protocol and it is GTPC G 
GPRS tunneling protocol control. That's why we call it C. Okay, so same uh, would be here between S S gateway and uh, you can say P gateway. It is S five or S eight, but uh, between S gateway and P gateway, it is called S five, right? So L one. L1, L2, IP obviously, L2, IP and it is UDP, UDP here. So it is again GTPC, GTPC. So it's a uh, very easy yeah, to remember between MME, uh, E node B2, MME and then MME2, S gateway right as gateway to p gateway because it is mainly user datagram protocol and gtpc gprs tunneling protocol control the main thing is this part only uh, which uh, you, you should remember that what are all protocol structure layer physical mac rlc pdcp rrc and nas nas is between directly between this and mme there is no role of e node b in this communication nas communication right and here it is sctp uh, right this is called stream control transmission protocol now uh now the uh, main function okay let's see uh, let's see this is the control plane let's see user plane also after that we will discuss the main functions of these layers user plane so i'll draw just below this so that you will be able to understand it easily control plane if we talk about right then again we have we will start by ue then e node b then since we are explaining control plane so instead of mme what will come s gateway right because we are uh, uh, explaining user plane so in user plane user data so you control information is controlled by mme right so that's why it is control plane structure and user plane data right so it is controlled by s gateway so that's why it is e node b to s gateway and then from s gateway to p gateway p gateway and from p gateway we can draw if we have to well, we should draw it for understanding pdn packet data network it is internet you can say open internet okay so uh what i'll do just a moment i have to draw it one more layer so it is yeah put to here i can draw. and here i can a user plane right okay so again same here it is physical mac rlc pdcp right now after pdcp right uh, it comes uh, one minute pdcp i'll do here this is complete pdcp right here there is no rrc right rrc was there in control plane radio resource control right but here it is there is no control it is only user so there is no rrc in that here it is ip one ip layer is there right and above it one is application layer right so ip layer is there now if we will see about e node b then obviously physical right mac rlc and pdcp only this one there is no no rrc right because since it is a user plane so there is no rrc right uh, so now if we will see about this and this so it is uu plane right this is s1u like it was s1 ap here it is s1u interface between e node b and s gateway right so here it is again l1 l2 ip udp right it is udp because 
user datagram protocol it is an internet uh, ip connection between that but user datagram protocol and this is gtp gprs tunneling protocol here it was gtp c but here it is gtp u because it's a user plane so gtp u here again udp ip l2 l1 obviously l1 l2 ip it is very simple from here uh, udp gtp u right p gateway if we divide p gateway also uh, l1 l2 ip udp and it is gtp u one important thing which uh, you should remember here one more layer is there in p gateway that is ip ip like here it is right here it is ip and here it is ip and they are directly connected like nas was connected with directly between mme and ue now the ip is given between p gateway and ue so with this we can say that the allotment of ip to a ue is done by p gateway okay it uh, it is something which you should remember that it may be asked in any interview that which entity allocates ip to the ue so you can you have to say that ip is allocated to the ue by p gateway right and this connection is s5 okay already we had told that so this is gtpc here it is gtpc physical to physical mac to mac rlc to rlc pdcp to pdcp and if we have to talk about the pdn gateway that l1 here here it is l1 okay and this is l2 l2 is there and after l2 it is ip right ip is from pdn allocated to p gateway and p gateway allocates this an application a double p application we can directly connect from here directly to this any application like skype or any kind of application which we use from the ue so it is directly accessed by pdn right for ue right so uh, now we will talk about bit about the what do you say the main functions of a physical layer you know right physical layer you know that physical layer is used for physical allotment of prbs right for any uh, for ues right for dynamic allotment of data and signaling to this uh, ue right physical allotment of uh, prbs physical allotment of prbs prbs for ue then mac layer l2 layer which we call so the main function of mac layer is multiplexing and multiplexing and demultiplexing multiplexing and demultiplexing of what between logical and transport channels right between logical and transport channel so multiplexing and demultiplexing between logical and transport channels third one is rlc right radio link control so the main function of this is segmentation and concatenation segmentation and concatenation right of pdus so which pdus rlc pdus and then to pdcp pdus right from upper layer it takes pdcp uh, pdus and convert into rlc pdus like this and after that it is pdcp layer that is uh, packet data convergence protocol so the main function of this layer is security purpose so it uh, deals the all the functions uh, related to the you know header compression access stratum security ciphering integrity protection so all the main function is security of 
data or packets so the main functions of this layer is security like integrity integrity uh, protection access stratum security access stratum means uh, security between ue and e node b security so these are the main function the main function of pdcp layer is security then the rrc layer in uh, what you say uh, this uh, control plane right rrc layer in uh, control plane so this is for radio resource controller it uh, uh, controls the radio resources between e, uh, e node b and ue and then yeah nas non access stratum between directly between ue and mme right? communication between ue and mme directly and the ip one takeaway from this lecture is ip allocation to the ue is done by p gateway right ip allocation to the ue is done by p gateway we can see here in this right so these are the main uh, uh main uh, broad idea of a protocol structure of uh, lte so that uh, very brief uh, introduction uh, not in very detail but yes uh, you should remember that what are the layers main layers and how it is done like gtp is again, gtp is gprs tunneling protocol is a protocol and in control plane it is used gtpc right protocol it is control in control plane and user in user plane so uh, that's all for today is a brief introduction so thanks a lot and uh, we will come again with some other topic uh, thank you very much